Hello, my YouTube family. This is Dr. Lee. Welcome back to another one of my videos. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button below and give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, uh, today I'm gonna to be demonstrating nail care according to Prometric guidelines. And when you do nail care, you will do it on your partner. I have my room kind of made a little bit different. So when I start the skill, you'll hear me say that I'm gonna pull the curtain to provide for privacy. After I pull the curtain, I'm gonna open it up just a little bit so that you can see the patient and what I'm doing, and then I'll uh, do my closing. So with that, I'm gonna step out, come back in, and I will start the demonstration for nail care. Again, nail care will be done on a live person, whoever your partner is, when you go into the room to do the skill. All right, so I'll be back and come in through the patient's bedroom door. Good morning, Miss Mary. Hello, my name is Dr. Lee and I'm here to do nail care on you. And before I get started, I'm going to wash my hands, get my supplies, and I'll be right back. Okay, is that all right with you? All right, thank you. So for uh, skills purposes, I'm going to close the curtain to provide for privacy. But for demonstration, I'm gonna open it up so that you can see what I'm doing. I will come over to the sink and say that I'm washing my hands. You have to wash your hands before you start patient care. Um, you would physically wash your hands if the evaluator has not told you that you can simulate hand washing. So I'm gonna assume she's told me I don't have to physically go and wash my hands. So I will say, so that the evaluator can hear me, I'll wash my hands. Now that my hands are clean, I would go to the three drawer chest that would be in the patient's room and get my supplies. What I will need is a barrier for the table. So I'll get a big towel for that. You want another towel that the person can rest their hands on. And then you have to wash, rinse, and dry the person's hands before you start nail care. So you get towels for that, a orange wooden stick, and an emery board. Gloves are not um, required for this skill unless you want it or unless you have, the patient has some type of open or visible um, wounds or something on the hand. For nail care, we're only doing one hand. So I'm gonna gather my supplies now. supplies back here making sure that you don't put the clothes uh, the supplies on your clothing you don't want it to touch your clothing I'm gonna go ahead on and put this pad down to protect my table all right I have my orange wooden stick it's flat on the end that's what you're going to be using to clean under the nail bed and then my emery board and I'm just going to put all these things right here on the table a towel for washing, drying, wash, rinsing, drying. And I also want to have some type of support for the patient's wrist. So I have an extra uh, pad here for that. So with that, I'm going to go to the sink and put water in my basin. So when you start with nail care, the person's hand needs to be emerged in water so that um, it can kind of soak before you start actually cleaning the dirt up under the nails. I'm coming over to the sink. Because my hands are clean, I will need to turn on the water faucet with a paper towel, okay, because the water faucet handles are dirty. So I'm gonna turn on the water. take my paper towels and put them in the trash. 
and I'm gonna put water into my basin. And I'll probably get about a fourth of a basin full of water. I'm gonna put this over to the side. I need to test the water to make sure that the water is at a comfortable temperature before I have the patient test the water. So now that I've test the water, make sure that you say that loud enough for the evaluator to hear that you're testing the water. I can turn the water off. Again, I'm not going to turn the water off, handles off with my bare hands because my hands are clean. Turn it off with a paper towel. This is not required, but I like to bring an extra paper towel over um, to the patient, Ms. Mary, so that Ms. Mary will be able to dry her hands. Anytime that we're using water and we're bringing water to a patient, I have to let the patient test the water after I have tested the water. So Ms. Mary, hi, I'm back. So I have my supplies and everything here. I would like for you to test the water to make sure that it's okay for you and I have a paper towel for you to dry your hands. Is that all right with you? Okay, great. Okay, so let's see your hand here. And if you can put that in the water, is that good? Okay, great. Let me just um, dry your hands here. So the patient has tested the water. Okay, Miss Mary, if you can just let your hands kind of soak there a little bit, and I'm gonna grab a chair so that I can sit down while I do this skill, okay? So I'm gonna sit down across from the patient. Again, you do not need gloves on for this skill unless you want gloves on. Okay, Miss Mary, with letting your hands soak, I'm gonna go ahead and put my towels in the water. One is for washing, one's for rinsing for right now. And I'm just gonna go ahead on and make sure my patient has the hand kind of soaked up there. She's been soaking it in this little bucket of water. Okay, Miss Mary, I'm gonna take your hand out of the bucket so we can kind of go ahead on and remove this bucket because I really don't want to waste any water, okay? I'm just gonna hang this over to the side. Okay, let's go ahead on and bring your hand over. You have a little pad here you can support your hand on. And let's bring this over here so that the people can see what I'm doing. I think that's gonna work just fine for us, Miss Mary. So I'm gonna put soap onto a wet washcloth. As you can see, I have my soap on here. I'm gonna rub it into the washcloth. Get it real good and soapy. Now, you are only doing one hand. I wanna support it. I also have a little towel here that person can also put their hand on to rest it. I'm going to take one part and bring across the top of the hand. I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to come under the back part of the hand, the palm. All right. Okay, Miss Mary, support your hand here. I'm going to go around each finger. And if I open this up, I can pretty much get her whole fingers in, in here and with this way I can just go around the thumb and nail bed index finger nail bed middle finger nail bed ring finger nail bed and baby finger nail bed now I have washed the entire hand I can take this put over to the side don't put it in the water now I need to rinse the soap off so I already had this towel in the basin so I'm just gonna rinse her hand off, rinse the soap off. Miss Mary, is this comfortable for you? Okay, I'm gonna be rinsing your hand now. I'm going to do the top part of the hand. All right, I'm gonna fold this over. Miss Mary, we'll get the back part of your hand. Okay, now I'm gonna open it up and we're gonna get around all of your fingers. Okay, let me know if you feel any discomfort with me doing this. I'm gonna go around your thumb and nail bed, your index finger and nail bed, 
your ring finger and nail bed, middle finger and nail bed, got the wrong finger, didn't I? Okay, now ring finger and nail bed and baby finger. All right, great, good job. Okay, now I'm gonna take this towel and we're gonna dry your hands. And at this point for drying it, I just put the towel around the whole hand and just dry it, okay? No special way. Okay, Miss Mary, your hands are nice and clean. We have this support here for you, okay? Is that comfortable position? Okay, great. Let me put this over here to the side. And what I'm gonna start with first is with my orange wood stick. And this is to go up under each one of your nail beds, okay? So hold on just a minute while I talk to my YouTube family. Okay, so YouTube family, when you're going under the nail bed, you want to take the flat end of this orange wood stick, the flat part. The ones that I buy here for our students, it's flat on both ends, but sometimes it's flat on one end and it's pointed on the opposite end. Very important, make sure you use the flat end. You want to go under the nail bed, and if you pick up any dirt, wipe it off. All right, so this is what I will be doing for her four fingers and thumb. I'm going to support my patient's hand and I'll say, Miss Mary, I'm gonna start with your thumb and we're gonna go under the nail bed and wipe it off, okay? We're going to your ring finger, under the nail bed, wipe it off. Next finger, under the nail bed, wipe it off ring finger under the nail bed wipe it off baby finger under the nail bed wipe it off all right miss mary just hold tight right here i'm going to do this on me for the youtube family okay I'll be right back all right so on me if you was doing me under the nail bed wipe it off next finger under the nail bed Wipe it off. Under the nail bed. Wipe it off. Under the nail bed. Wipe it off. Under the nail bed. Wipe it off. Okay? If you notice, even though this has two flat ends, I didn't have to change it because I said in the beginning, sometimes when you buy an orange wooden stick, it's flat on one end and pointed on the other. I never wanna use the pointed end. So I can continue to use the flat end for all of the fingers as long as I'm doing what? Wiping it off, okay? Miss Mary, so we've done that. The next thing I wanna use is my emery board. I'm gonna show them, I'll be right back. Okay, with the emery board, you want to make sure that the nail beds are soft, that they're smooth, not soft, smooth, all the way around. So in order to do that, I'm going to take this emery board and I'm going to start on the side and go side, center, other side, side, center, side, center, side, center, side, center, side, center center and you want to do that for all of the fingers once you're through doing that kind of run your fingers the um, palm of your fingers around making sure that the, all of the nail beds are smooth okay miss mary we're going to continue and i'm going to start with your thumb i'm going to go to the side cent side center side center okay we're going to do the next finger side side center side center next finger side center side center next finger miss mary let me know if it's uncomfortable are you all right great side center side center you're doing a fantastic job miss mary i appreciate you helping me side center side center Great, so now I'm through with that. I have one other part to do, and that is to put some lotion on your hands, and then we'll be pretty much through, okay? 
So I'm going to get my lotion. Now, Prometric says there are two ways that you can warm up the lotion. One way is to put the lotion in your hand and then you rub it in your hand to warm it up and then place it on the patient. The second way that you can use to warm up your lotion is I could have brought another basin of water, put warm water in it, and then put this bottle of lotion into the warm water. And it can be warming up until I'm ready to use it. So those are the two ways that Prometric will um, allow you and give you credit for warming up the lotion. So for me, I tell my students, just warm it up in your hand. That's the easiest way. So I'm gonna put some lotion in my hand. All right. I'm going to warm the lotion up, okay, get it nice and warm. Miss Mary, we're going to be putting lotions on, on your hands, okay? Just kind of massaging it in and under the bottom. How does that feel? Good? Great. All right. We're almost through. Now, if you feel that you put too much lotion on your patient, you can always take a towel and just kind of what we call pat dry like this to get the excess lotion off. All right, and then you're through doing uh, hand and nail care. There you go, Miss Mary. I'm going to start putting my things up. I'll come back and give you your call light and everything, okay? So now I'm ready to put everything up. All of this will go into the dry linen container. My soap and lotion I'm gonna put over here on the counter until I'm ready to put that in the patient's area. Orange stick an emery board goes into the trash. Okay, bring this over here. I'm gonna get rid of my towels and things first. So all of this will go into the dry linen container and my towels will go into the wet linen container. My hands are dirty now because I done care with the patient. So I'm gonna go ahead on and turn the water faucets handles on because I need to rinse out my basin. So I'm going to empty my water. I'm going to rinse my basin. Pour the rinse water in the sink and turn my water off. Now that my basin is clean, I'm going to hold it with a clean paper towel because my hands are dirty. I'm going to dry my basin. I'm going to get a clean paper towel to get my lotion, soap, and now I'm going to put everything back into the patient's um, drawer. The basin, soap, and lotion will go into the middle drawer, in the second drawer. Now that I've put all of that up, I'm ready to go back to my patient. And remember, before I go to my patient and have any type of patient contact, I must wash my hands. So I'm gonna tell the evaluator I wash my hands. Now that my hands are clean, I can come back to my patient. I'm gonna say, Miss Mary, Here's your call light. You can call me. I need to make sure that it is within reach for my patient. Okay. You can call me if you need anything. All right. Would you like the light off or TV on? You're good? Okay, great. My curtain, remember, would have been pulled to provide for privacy. I open the curtain so that you can see what I'm doing. So before I leave the patient, I'm going to close my curtain. I mean, open my curtain up. Okay, Miss Mary, I think we've done everything. You have your call light. I got your curtain open up. I put your supplies and everything up. You say you're comfortable? All right. At that point, I will come back. I always, always end my skills with telling the evaluator, I wash my hands and I'm through with that skill. So if you have any questions whatsoever about um, nail care, hand and nail care, be sure and leave me some comments below. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Normally I'm, I'm about a day or two with answering questions, but I'll try to make sure that I respond back to you. All right, if you enjoyed this video on nail care, please hit the subscribe button below. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.
Goodbye.